Libra, welcome. Hey, friends, hey. So, I've got the tarot. That new prism deck, I just bought it, Spirit Halloween. I have the Halloween Oracle. And I have my personalized playing cards. And if we have time, I've got the Black Moon Astrology. Let's get the word on the street. Libra. For the next seven days, whenever you find this reading, what is the word on the street? First message with this King of Pentacles, the Leprechaun at the bottom. I'm feeling like this is a, a greedy King of Pentacles. He looks like a greedy little leprechaun. I feel like you dodged the grasp of a greedy little leprechaun. <laughs> Being completely honest. Hello, Anubis. Just cut to the King of Wands. Wow, that's interesting. King of Pentacles to the King of Wands. What's the word on the street about Libra? What's the word on the street this week about Libra spirit? Oh my gosh, Libra. We keep getting this card and I'm not mad because it's so sweet. It's called the Brownie and it's the Three of Wands. This is about leadership and enterprise, okay? But if we're going to read the, the artwork in this card, it's all about creating a happy home environment, being content at home in your own space, in your own company. Yeah, you're not playing around with these ghouls. The Four of Cups is at the bottom, a ghoul. Certain energy vampires. The energy vampires could be out trying to haunt you this week, Libra. Bring you into their drama. Look who's back out. There's a King of Pentacles energy, Libra, that doesn't want to give up on you. They're like obsessed. They con they watch you constantly. This person wishes that you needed them and their money. Message. This person wishes that you needed them or what they can provide. Mm, the Five of Wands. This King of Pentacles could have tried to put you into some type of competition, Libra. And you're like, eh, eh. I don't compete. I heard win, 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 no matter what. I don't compete. And I already won. Says Libra. What is the word on the street? <laughs> I told you. Libra is already winning. Libra is entering their winning season, Ten of Pentacles. And Libra doesn't need the, I heard, chim, 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 chiru. Libra doesn't need your coins, King of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is Libra's birthright. You've conquered that maze. You've conquered these riddles. Right? This leprechaun wants to keep you in some type of competition or conflict. This king of pentacles energy all about some finances. Libra's like, please. I conquered the minotaur. I've been through the maze. I came out the other side. 
The Ten of Pentacles is my birthright. Also, word on this street, you're not playing around when it comes to your generational wealth. You're not playing around when it comes to your family. Libra. See? Two of Pentacles, Elf at the bottom. And look how that elf, it's shooting a bow and arrow. I feel like this is one of your defenders. One of your spirit guides. This elf energy with the bow and arrow. I love how they have this little like light blue jewel on their third eye with their little headband on. How cute is that? <laughs> and the elf's like, I'm not just cute. I can do damage. <laughs> Those arrows, I heard sting. And he has a little knife. Ooh. Do you carry a knife around, Libra? <gasps> Word on the street, you're on point, too. Because this Two of Pentacles is like you're balanced. You're on target. You have your eyes set on a target, Libra, and you're on point. <laughs> That's the word on the street as well. With that elf. Two of Pentacles. We, I feel this energy. This, you know, Libra, let me remind you. If you come into contact with this Five of Wands energy the next seven days. And I believe this is surrounding your work. Because it's coming in after the Ten of Pentacles. So this Five of Wands competition and conflict is around your money. People are seeing you focused. You're on the come up. They're hating. They're jealous. They see something in you that they lack themselves. Some people could be trying to send out um, like familiars, watchers. Again, they're going to try to drain your energy, bring you into their drama. The Five of Wands is drama, fighting. I would not give them the satisfaction. I feel like you're, you're above it. I heard it's above me now. This Five of Wands energy, you're above it now, Libra. A person in the Ten of Pentacles has no business fighting someone in the five energy. They're not even halfway to where you are. This could be a queen of wands that wants to fight with you. We have Lilith at the bottom. These could be energies that claim to be, um, Lilith energy or whatever they, it's super, I'm going to keep my opinion to myself, really karmic to me, but anyways, um, they could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag, feminine, trying to fight with you, trying to bring you into their demonic energy. I mean, look at the card. <laughs> it's, it's, let's just call it what it is. It's demonic energy. And I don't care about hearing your explanation in the comments, so spare me. It came out with the Five of Wands. It's not positive. This Queen of Wands, this Lilith energy card, it's not positive nature. <laughs> One more. Mm. 
the fool. Libra. So, that person just crept by so slow. They were so interested in what I was up to. People are going to be very interested in what you're up to. Again, some people say Libra's focused, Libra's um, learning new tricks of your trade. You could be a performer and really put on an artist. Some people could be misunderstanding you, you know, saying you're, you're a joke, you're a jokester. We bottom of the deck, <sighs> the 10 of cups. They can say Libra all they want that what you do is a joke or seems to be a joke to them, but they will not say it to your face. They will not at you. It's always going to be subliminal, right? For like always, it's always going to be subliminal. They will not come against you. 10, 10, 10 of pentacles. And now we have the 10 of cups at the bottom. Leviathan. If I pronounce that right, this ocean serpent beast in this Ten of Cups card. I mean, to me, it looks like an energy that could be protecting you and your family, protecting this generations, protecting your generational wealth. Why in the... 10 to 10 cards are these like strong beasts that I feel fight on your behalf because you've already conquered your demons, Libra. You conquered them and made them your bee. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I feel like your guides, your angels, your ancestors of the highest realm, right? They know your heart. They're very, very involved in your soul's purpose in this lifetime, and they protect you heavily, regardless of who thinks what. This is all gossip. This is all hearsay. Now, there, there could be absolutely no truth to what I'm saying. It's what's the word on the street. So again, I'm feeling like mixed bag energy here. Some people take you serious. They watch you. They do talk crap about you. But they know you're a threat. And then there's another group of people that think, oh, ha ha, Libra's like funny, like ha ha joke. Also, you could be embarking on a brand new beginning, zero, the full, but yet there's this 300 in the corner. You're not allowing anyone to come between you and your new beginning. People are seeing that. Let's use the oracle. Four 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 could be an important angel number this week, Libra. I just saw fourteen forty four. Skull of stars, infinite possibilities. 
Yeah, you're not letting anyone or anything come between you and your mission, your purpose, your life, your destiny. No one can control you. People have lost their grasp if they ever had one on you, Libra. It's very, very hard to control and lock down an air sign. We're air. We will float out of your grasp. And I feel like Libra... You've come to a point in your life where the possibilities are truly infinite. Here's this star power again. Skull of stars. And people have lost control over you, like I said, if they ever had any. Spider, community, and web weaving. There's some people in your community that wish you would come out more. They want to see you. They want to talk to you. They may want to web a new, uh, some new connections in regards to your business. Yeah, especially for my intuitive Librans. People will feel very pulled towards you. It's your intuition. It's your divine femininity to my divine fem Librans. Yep. Ghost. Regret. Someone regrets ghosting you. Okay. Okay. Someone regrets doing something that made you ghost them. The ghosts of your past regret how they treated you. Yeah, there's somebody rollerblading around me. It's like you just rolled on out of their life. Let's use my personalized playing card deck now. Thank you, Spirit. What else is the word on the street? Here's this toxic energy again. This female energy could have their sun in Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. They could work at a hospital or a jail. What's the word on the street about Libra? Libra. Here's this king of swords energy, the king of spades, an authoritative man who may create trouble in a relationship. You have that jealous king of swords energy still around you, still lingering, Libra. Possessive, jealous. Access previously denied, a sibling or close family member may reveal secret info to you. It may come from a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. We have an athlete here. This person is younger than you. Again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They're very attracted to you. Jack of clubs. Because you are Libra, <laughs> Aquarius, or Gemini. Because you're a boss. The ten of clubs at the bottom. This could be someone you meet at a new job. They see you as a strong boss. They like your teamwork. But more importantly, they... <laughs> I see that cash flow. Hmm. People are funny. Work behind the scenes, says the six of diamonds. 
Secret changes in work. Charity offering help. Someone could be offering help this week if you need it. There could be possible delays when making plans for a trip. Something in regards to cousin. Or a trip to see a distant brother or sister. What else is the word on the street about Libra? Word on the street about Libra. Important decision will soon need to be made. Crossroads. People are trying to put up obstacles at your work. If you're feeling that Five of Wands energy, that Eight of Spades does confirm that. You could be at a crossroads on whether to leave that job or not. Bottom of the deck, Two of Clubs, sharing of ideas, union, successful life path, manifesto, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This person could be hesitating in a responsibility of being in a relationship with you. Top card. Last card, and then I'm going to go. Stability will soon return to your work or your health. Last card, Libra. Troubling times are almost over. For those that needed to hear that message. I hope I provided you with some guidance and messages today. This is all in fun. Again, please don't feel triggered by anything here. If you did find messages, give me a big thumbs up. Until next time, stay balanced, stay blessed. Peace, Libra.